Tamil Nadu is nature's favorite child. From time immemorial, the state has been the hotspot of biodiversity. With pristine forests, rolling grasslands, gushing waterfalls, and mesmerizing Shola forests, Tamil Nadu is home to some extremely rare and endangered wildlife, some of them so unique they are found nowhere else in the world. Tamil Nadu has taken a giant leap in conserving and protecting its precious wildlife. In the last one year of the new government, a number of path-breaking initiatives have put Tamil Nadu on the global conservation map. Through notification of two new bird sanctuaries, Karuveli in Virupuram and Nanjarayan at Tirupur, Tamil Nadu has ensured a safe passage to the winged visitors from around the world. After nearly 20 years, Tamil Nadu has notified a new elephant reserve, the Agastya Malay Reserve in southern Tamil Nadu. This has opened a new chapter in the conservation of Asian elephants in India. After a gap of 20 years, 13 new Ramsar sites have been added to Tamil Nadu, making it the state with the highest number of Ramsar sites in India. This has brought Tamil Nadu global recognition in the area of wetland conservation. Pallikarnai, one of the largest marshlands in India, has recently been recognized as a Ramsar site. The government is setting up a conservation center that will make it a landmark in conservation of wetlands. In a pioneering effort, Tamil Nadu has notified India's first dugong reserve for this highly endangered mammal. This initiative will go a long way in their conservation and protection. Tamil Nadu is also home to the highly endangered slender loris. India's first ever slender loris sanctuary in Dindakal will not only help protect and conserve the species, but also provide an opportunity for visitors from all over the world to learn about the animal. Nilgiritar is the state animal of Tamil Nadu. It is highly endangered due to habitat loss and several other biotic pressures. In order to protect the Nilgiritar, the Tamil Nadu government is setting up India's first Project Nilgiritar with the mandate of habitat protection to increase their population. Project Nilgiritar will be centered at Coimbatore. The Tamil Nadu coast is home to five out of the six turtle species found across the world. Some of them are highly endangered. The government is setting up a turtle conservation center at Chennai. This will be an international center that will collaborate with several institutions within the country and abroad to spearhead turtle conservation. Longwood Shola in Kotagiri, Nilgiris, has been awarded the prestigious accreditation under the Queen's Canopy Project of the Commonwealth. This accreditation will help attract national and international expertise and knowledge in protecting these forests. Efforts are on to set up the Marine Elite Force to protect the massive biodiversity of coastal Tamil Nadu. The department has successfully rewilded Rivaldo, an Asian elephant that was injured and then taken into captivity. Keeping with the philosophy of the department, which is to ensure wild animals be protected in their original habitat, the elephant was treated and released back into the wild. It now roams freely in its original home, where it belongs. MDT-23, a tiger involved in human-animal conflict, was safely captured and relocated into captivity. This approach sets a precedent in dealing with animals like these by giving them a second chance. The efforts taken by Tamil Nadu to preserve its wildlife has won worldwide acclaim. Through visionary policies, futuristic ideas and the inspired leadership of the Honorable Chief Minister, Tamil Nadu has entered a new era in wildlife conservation and protection.